octane is a hydrocarbon that is 84.21% carbon, determine the empirical formula for octane. And we do this firstly by realizing that since this compound contains only carbon and hydrogen, if it is 84.21% carbon, then that automatically means that the remaining 15.79% must be hydrogen. We then say that if we assume that we have a 100 gram sample of the substance, that would mean that we have 84.21 grams of carbon and 15.79 grams of hydrogen. We don't have to assume a 100 gram sample. 100 grams just makes it easy to convert the percentage into a number of grams. We can then say that 100 grams of carbon is not particularly useful to us because we can't compare that to a mass of hydrogen. But what we can do is we can calculate the number of moles of carbon using the molar mass for carbon, which is 12, to see that 84.21 grams of carbon is 7.0175 moles of carbon. We can do exactly the same for our number of moles of hydrogen where our molar of mass for hydrogen is one, the number of moles is 15.79, and so we know that we have 15.79 moles of hydrogen. What we can now do is we can compare or look at the ratio of carbon to hydrogen, where 7.0175 moles of carbon is in a ratio to 15.79 moles of hydrogen. We then divide both sides by the smallest number, which in this case is 7.0175, and that gives us a ratio of 1 to 2.25, which is not particularly useful since we cannot have 0.25 of a hydrogen atom. But what we can do is we can multiply both of these by 4 to see that the actual ratio is then a ratio of 4 to 9, which gives us then the formula the empirical formula here, C4H9. The question then has a follow-on where we are asked to determine the molecular formula for octane. Given that the molar mass for octane is known to be 114 grams per mole, and so our starting point here is always to calculate the molar mass for the empirical formula that we have calculated, C4H9, and we see that that is 57 grams per mole. What we can then hopefully see is that 57 grams per mole is exactly half of the molar mass for the actual molecular formula of octane, which means that in order to find the molecular formula, we need to multiply the empirical formula by two, which means that the actual molecular formula for octane would be C8H18. Important in questions like this, always to make it very clear what is being done. So we always start out by explaining that we're assuming that there is a 100 gram sample of the substance, which explains to us then how we are able to convert from a percentage to a number of grams. We then always show the formula that we're using for that second mark and then we show how we've put those two substances in a ratio to each other to get that third mark. Again we show the molar mass and again just it doesn't hurt to explain exactly why this is happening we show that we understand that this molar mass is the molar mass for the empirical formula and we can then see that the empirical formula has exactly half the molar mass of the actual formula and so then we get that final mark for writing down the molecular formula for this substance.